Well guys, it's Brandon with Carolina Auto Direct and it's time to do another review video. Just trying to figure out something to review though. Too bad we don't have something cool, different, hard to get. 2021 Ford Bronco, Wild Track, Sasquatch package. Let's take a look. So that's right guys, this is not a Mirage. This is a real 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch package. This is the first time I'm seeing it in person and all I can say is, wow. I mean, the, the paint, this is called Antimatter Blue and I hope the camera is picking it up because this color is absolutely stunning. It shines so nicely. Um, let's take a look at some of the, the features on the outside. So on this higher trim level, you get some really nice additional features. You have your LED headlights, you have a nice upgraded front bumper with steel bash plate, and you got this nice almost powder coated brush guard. Really nice. How can we not miss these wheels and tires? On that Sasquatch package, you get the 17 inch black gloss aluminum wheels with 35 inch Goodyear tires. I mean, super aggressive looking, very capable I'm sure. Even coming down the road here, you didn't have a lot of hum on the road, so really well done by Ford. On this Bronco, you do have the available 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So that is producing best in class 310 V6 gas horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque, and that is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. So starting up on the hood, you have this really nice matte finish decal with the Wild Track logo. As you come around the side, again, you have the Wild Track logo with Sasquatch. Again, that beautiful blue paint just shines in the sun. Down below, you have nice running boards with the Bronco logo integrated. Everything is just done very tasteful. You got the hard cover, and that even has a uh, kind of a textured finish to it. I like that they've done that. Again, very tasteful. And next, we're gonna go around back and see what we got going on there. So moving along the back of the Bronco here, Ford has done a great job with the spare tire. Keep in mind, this is a 35 inch tire on the back here, but it looks right. The scale is right. Say you put this on a Jeep Wrangler, that's gonna swallow up the whole back. So that was done nice. The camera, smack dab right in the center. You're gonna get a really nice viewing angle out of that. I like that they've done that there. Uh, moving over a little bit, you have a really nice Bronco logo done in gloss black, again, very tasteful. And then down below you have your hitch receiver and all your plugins there. So while we're back here, let's take a look at the trunk space. I think one of the reasons why the ratio of tire to the back end of the car looks right is the size of the door here. You'll notice that's a lot bigger than something you'll see on a Wrangler compared to the glass. Much smaller piece. I think they've nailed it with the scale. Probably the reason why that looks so good. Uh, nice storage in the back here. As you can see, this is brand new. You still got the mats in the plastic. Tons of storage. You even have a nice little LED with more Bronco logos and a 12 volt. So really smart. Um, tie down hooks right here. A little bit of storage under here. Small nitpick. It would have been nice to see some type of locking storage. So when you have the doors and the top off, you can put small belongings in there and lock them up. Good thing about that. I'm sure there'll be some aftermarket parts coming to the market. If not, they're already there. Um, but yeah, really nicely done again by Ford here. So we're gonna make our way into the interior, but before we do, I just wanted to touch on this a little bit. Ford has been doing the touchpad for a while now. Normally they'll put it up on the pillar, but obviously because they take the roof off, so I get that. It's very nice to have, especially if you're going out road, off-roading, you don't wanna take your keys with you and you wanna lock everything inside. I get it, I just wish being 2021, almost 2022, there was a little bit more of an elegant way to do this. I'm not sure what that is, just a small little nitpick. Um, but let's check out the interior. All right, so starting here at the steering wheel of the Bronco, again, really nicely done. You got some brushed metal accents. 
Over here to the left, you have your adaptive cruise controls and some of your volume knobs. Nicely done. Moving up to the top here, you have your auxiliary switches. So when you're gonna hook up your light bars and all your aftermarket parts, easily wire them up. Moving here to the dash, I really like what they've done. It's almost like a, like a rubberized material um, and they've done it in a uh, kind of a tan color. I like that. You have your locking diff here. Again, rubberized material. So they've thought about this. When you take this off road, these materials are not gonna get marred up and damaged on your first run. Really smart and thought out. Uh, in the corner, you can see that you have some Bang & Olufsen speakers, upgraded sound system. And then in the middle, they've done something pretty cool here. You got a USB and a USB-C port. So if you wanna charge some things and leave them up here, you can. Really nicely done. Moving down, you have your controls here for heated steering wheel, heated seats, all your air conditioning and heating is right there. Moving down, you have a wireless charging pad and some more USB ports. Right next to that, you have this nice little plaque. It's a metal plaque that they've put in there. It says where it's manufactured, built in Michigan, American made, really nice. On the shift knob, again, you have a really tasteful Bronco logo and then a small little etched American flag. I like that, it's done really nice. Moving back, you have your goat modes, your driving selection, and then moving back even further, you have your window controls. I like that, so if you're resting your arm up on the center console, you just have quick access to your nice frameless windows there. So starting off here in the interior, there is a lot to talk about, but let's start right here. Massive, massive screen, 12 inch display, um, it's got some great features on it. Obviously, navigation. This does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, um, so it's going to automatically pair it up for you. You do have some nice features in here. You've probably seen the zone lighting on the new F-150s. Yes, this does have that also, so really nice. And you have all your driver assistance, adaptive cruise, lane keep, so really nicely done. Tons of technology, even though this is a a really an off-road vehicle at heart. So Ford has really nailed it here in the interior. Although this is a really a utilitarian vehicle, they have not sacrificed any of the look. Um, they've got grab handles integrated in here. They've given you some really nice blue accents. They're not over the top. They're just very, very tastefully done. You see some stitching here on the seats. More Bronco logos throughout. I mean, everything has just been done so smart. Um, the materials are going to be durable when you're doing off-roading, but they don't look it, and that is amazing. They have really knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. So taking a look at the seats here in the Bronco, really nice two-tone leather. I will tell you, they look different from the pictures, and in a better way. They don't look as in-your-face blue. It's a nice muted tone here on the stitching. Moving up, you got a nice embossed Bronco logo. And then as you come up to the roof, they've actually lined it in this kind of carpeted material. So that's going to cut down a lot, a lot of that echo when you're moving down the road. As you shut the door, I did touch on the windows. As you can see, they are massive, giving this thing great visibility going down the road. I can speak on that firsthand. The, uh, the visibility looking out the windshield and the windows is great. So not a whole lot to talk about here in the back seat, but I just wanted to get in and kind of show you what's going on. Again, you have that nice two-tone leather. I'm not a particularly tall gentleman, but nice headroom, good space back here. Again, huge window space, I love that. Moving down to the center, you have your window controls, more charging ports, USB-C and USB, and then you have your 110 outlet right there. Floor mats are really nice here. They cover the entire carpeted area and then you got a nice Bronco logo in a different color. I like that. So driving the 2021 Ford Bronco. Did not think this was going to happen so soon. I hate that we have to give it up. This one's already sold. Uh, it's going out of state to the customer. So but I'm glad we got to spend a little time with it and uh, actually see what it's like. So obviously we didn't get to uh, touch on the tops of the Broncos here. We didn't get to take the doors and the tops off of this one, but something they've thought of, when you do take the doors and the top off, the mirrors are actually mounted to the body. So that's something you don't have to worry about on this. Really nicely thought out. I'm glad Ford decided to do that. All right. 
So going down the road, I know I've touched on it before, but the visibility in this thing is just great. I mean, I can see all corners of the vehicle. For being a big off-road vehicle, 35 inch tires, it just, it does not feel like that. It doesn't beat you up like some of these uh, giant Wranglers that I've gotten in. And uh, I think they've really, really done a great job with this Bronco. So that was a quick look at the 2021 Ford Bronco. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Be sure to like and subscribe.